is Helen Bellino from Artopia Mosaics and Sculpture and I'm here today to do a YouTube tutorial for you on our new amazing product that we're just releasing any day now called Sculpt and Stick. Um, what it is is it's a sculpture medium and an adhesive so it's a really great product for any mosaic artist or sculpt, sculpture, sculptor. Um, it's something I've come up with after a long, many, many years of doing sculpture for mosaics and teaching workshops, which many of you have attended. And I've always been looking for some sort of magic uh, formula that makes the sculptures do what I, I want them to do. And so for a long, long time, I've been playing around with formulas and different things. And in conjunction with my husband, Sebastian, who's an industrial chemist, we've managed to come up with this formula, which I'm really, really, really happy with and very excited to share with, with everybody in the, in the Mosaic community. So we've called it Sculpt and Stick. I did run a competition with my Atopia community for a name and congratulations to Leonie Scott for picking that name, which is fantastic because it tells us exactly what it does. We're going to be rolling out this product in stages. So the first stage is a kit, something that you can do on your own without workshops because during this uh, COVID times we're all stuck at home so I thought it'd be sort of fun for you to have something new to play with. So we're just releasing this kit this week and I'll show, show you everything that's in this kit. Um, this, this kit gives you the ability to use Sculpt and Stick or SNS to cover a found object. So it's quite a simple method. We will be demonstrating a shoe in the next YouTube tutorial. Um, there are many, many other uses for this medium. You can model with it and, and you can do other various things with it. If you look at this Egyptian cat, which I still haven't quite finished, I covered my original wire armature with SNS and I did a second coat to smooth, so I had a nice smooth finish. Once that was dry, I also I just added these legs and the face with SNS, but used it as a modeling medium. So there's actually no armature wire or anything underneath here and part of the face. I modeled with it like you would a clay. And that is really what I love about this. I also used it to glue on the um, mosaics. And I did, this is a method where I've just pressed into a colored adhesive. So I've coloured SNS with our artistic, Artopia Artistic Tints. This is a green one on the cat, obviously I used a black one. So you can see that it does have more than one use. And we'll be rolling those different uses out over a period of time in workshops when we can reopen and also in kits. So let me show you this kit. Um, this, this kit has inside two kilos of this SNS powder. It has quite detailed instructions on how to use it and the safety information. Uh, it also has addresses for links on the internet where you can watch the YouTube videos and get more information about things. It has a roll of a fiberglass tape, some applicators, a dust mask and some gloves. So that's pretty much most of the things you need to, to, do this, um, to do this type of sculpture. You just need to find a found ob suitable found object and some containers to mix with. Um, I like to reuse things. We're really big on, on sustainability at Artopia, so I also encourage you to make sure you find some things that you can reuse in, in this, for these things rather than buying new plastic. So safety is very important when you use this product. It is a cement based product, okay? So that means it's great because it can go outdoors, but you do have to protect yourself because any cement based product contains silica and silica can be harmful for you. So it's, it's no worse than any other cement based product, but we do have to be careful of our health. So when you're using the product, we must wear gloves, we must wear a dust mask and we must wear safety glasses with shields, side shields, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to mix it now that I've prepared myself for safety. So the ratio on mixing SNS is one part water 
and two and a half parts of the powder. It doesn't matter what measuring cup or system you use, as long as the ratio is one part to two and a half parts, okay? So we've got our one part liquid, which we will pour into this container. Then we will tip our powder on top. You can see that it does puff up, which is why we need the mask. So if anyone else is working around you, you need to do this somewhere away from them. Obviously outdoors and or a well ventilated area is the best place to do it. Now we, we give it a mix. Once again, I love recycling. I get old knives from the drawer or the op shop usually, but of course you can use things like this if you want to. So this is how you'll see it takes quite a while for the powder to be taken up into the liquid. And I'll keep mixing that. I'm just going to keep mixing it until you can see that how it combines and the consistency. We usually go with a toothpaste consistency when we're mixing up any adhesive type or cement based products. You can see that's making a lovely toothpaste consistency like that. So you give it well combined. I would keep going and mixing that a little bit longer if I wasn't under the time constrictions of a video. Once you've done that, you let it sit for five minutes, okay? This one has been sitting for five minutes. When it's been sitting for five minutes, you can give it another stir. And that's just to make sure that the, everything, the liquid has taken up all the, all the powder. And then you're good to go, okay? So for this method that we will show you that belongs to this kit, you can start working straight away. For some of the other methods, like when you want to model something, you would let this mixture sit for one hour before you start working with it. But we're going to go into that in the future. So that's all I need to show you for this particular YouTube video. Um, the next one is part two, where I'll show you how to use this kit to cover a found object and turn it into a sculpture as a basis for your mosaics. So make sure you look at the next video and um, if anyone is interested in this kit, it is available at Artopia. You can go to www.artopiamosaics.com and go to our shop and you'll find it in there in the products. So I hope you will have fun using it and remember to follow those safety directions. Bye.